Hi there, you're watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition, the Sacramento Report. I'm Jaime Garza, joined today by Senator Curran Price. It's always good to have you with us you today. Too, good to be with you and your viewers. Uh, <laughs> what's going on with the high-speed rail project? We've heard a, a lot of uh, hoopla about it. Well, there's, there's a lot of hoopla. You know, it stands to be the greatest uh, public works project, certainly in, in the history of California and the history of this country, if it moves forward. The president has an ambitious plan for 25% uh, of the country to be covered by high-speed rail uh, in the next uh, 20 years. And California is, is, is a real leader, has been a leader. You know, we, we agreed to tax ourselves. Uh, the, you know, we, we've uh, funded a bond program worth uh, several billion dollars. Uh, we've already received uh, tens of billions, in fact, uh, toward that. Um, but it's just not getting the kind of traction that uh, many of us feel that it should have. Uh, there are about a dozen bills been introduced in the legislature uh, this session to, uh, to talk about uh, how, the, how the program is being run, how it's being governed. Uh, what the programs are associated with it. Uh, I've got some legislation that uh, pulls in the uh, small businesses and makes sure that they are part of the business plan as it evolves. And so we just want to make sure that uh, the entire uh, business population, small and large businesses, have mm -hmm. a chance to, to benefit from this program. It's going to be a tremendous opportunity to uh, improve the infrastructure of our, of our state uh, and to provide technology in a way that we haven't before. Well, let me ask you this. This is nothing new. I mean, this has been in the works for a long time now. Mm -hmm. Why all of a sudden now? Aren't these some of the issues that should have been addressed several years ago as we were talking about where the rail was going to go, where the money's right. going to come from, anything like that? Well, I, I think, yes, you're right, but there was really no federal direction, if you will. Each state was almost sort of doing it on their own. Uh, with the advent of federal legislation, uh, there are a number of requirements that have been, that have been pulled into place. And so uh, the planning process is still moving forward. We'd like to see it, um, uh, the, the planning um, centralized, more centralized. The recommendation of the LAO, in fact, was that it be under the Department of Caltrans as opposed to a separate standalone agency. And so uh, we think there's some governance issues that, uh, that need to be addressed that will give the, the public confidence that the program can move forward uh, and, and do so in a way that's going to be cost effective and efficient. For the All right, so how does this impact our progress? I mean, weren't we supposed to start building a short leg to the Central Valley? We were, and that still is the initial plan. Uh, there's some talk of going back to the federal government now to see if we can get some revisions uh, on that. Uh, but the, uh, the important thing is uh, to secure the funding that we're going to be, that's going to be necessary to move forward with it. And to do that, we need to show that we are serious about, um, about this plan and moving forward with it. Well, here's what worries me as a taxpayer. Yeah. Uh, there's been talk a lot about a maglev train going from Los Angeles to Las Vegas for, for 20, 30 years now. And every yeah. time there seems to be some sort of hurdle and it just kills the project. Yeah. Aren't you afraid that all of this may actually put this project not only on hold, but could yeah. just kill it, even though the government says let's move forward. Well, on it's, it? a, it's a real possibility, and uh, I think that's why it's important that those who do support the the, 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 uh, the project and planning um, speak up and be willing to uh, confront some of the issues, some of the downsides. We know that, for example, there's some issues about the route and where it's supposed to go mm -hmm. and how it's supposed to, and where it's going to start. And uh, I think some initial decisions were made that they probably do need to be revisited. Uh, and at least uh, uh, provide some additional feedback so that all stakeholders have some say-so on what's going on. And I think that is uh, another big issue. There just haven't been enough uh, voices and enough eyes seeing what's happening. We need certainly a lot more transparency uh, in the process to, to give folks that confidence. As we look at these different uh, legislative bills, uh, how far back do you think it'll push this project? Because there was a lot of optimism that mm -hmm. we were going to get the, the train rolling yeah. very soon. Yeah. Well, actually, I, I think that the legislation could help speed things up, providing more uh, focus, uh, more, uh, more uniformity, uh, if you will, uh, and clear direction. Uh, there has been some concern that as an agency it's been operating sort of by itself uh, in a vacuum, and so I think bringing it closer into uh, other agencies will alleviate that problem. Well, I'm sure we're going to hear a lot more on this. Senator Curran Price, always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good to be with you. And thank you at home for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. Remember, you can watch this interview and others by going to My Government On Demand. You'll find that on Channel 1, and you can also find us on YouTube now. Have a good one.